Amen. Crying out means that you have a desperate need. Amen, somebody. When somebody cry out, they don't just cry out for no reason. You cry out because you have a need. There's a concern. When, when fire reach a house, glory to God, and you want to capture someone's attention, you cry out loud, help! Come on, somebody. Are you following me? Glory to God. When you're in need, when, when, when pain start to rock your body, and you need a release, glory to God, and, and the pain become excruciating, amen, glory to God. You can't keep quiet, you have to make noise. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. So that when we enter into the presence of the Lord, and I'm not even touching Jeremiah, I'm leaving that for the prophet to come, amen. But I want somebody to understand, look over to the neighbor that is closest to you, and say, neighbor, if you come here with your mouth today, you're leaving here with a victory. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Somebody don't hear me. I said, look over to your neighbor, say, neighbor, if you come with your mouth today, you're leaving with victory. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. You see, victory, brothers and sisters, glory to God, is it comes when you begin to cry. It was, I was sharing early on this morning, glory to God, that when Jehoshaphat get the message from the prophet and he gathered the worshippers and they begin to cry out and they begin to praise God, then God begin to use their praise and create an ambush for the adversary. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Somebody lift your hand right now. Good God. I'm feeling a test run. I'm feeling a test run. Somebody lift your voice like you're losing your mind. And somebody cry out. Mm, my God, my God. We're getting there. Glory to God. Yes, we're crying out. Why? Because we know that there is a need. Amen. I shared it. Glory to God in Portmore. I shared it in Unspend. The other day I was prompt. Glory to God. Last week, Monday, when I leave here and I get home, I was prompt to search. Glory to God on the internet. And when I look, I look at how many gangs that is in Jamaica. And when I saw on the first headline, in the Jamaica Gleaner, it said over 400 gangs are dispatched in our country. And to be very exact, amen, the Gleaner go on to say there was 381 gangs. And in within these gangs, there is 9,000 members, men and women that made up these gangs. Listen to me. There is a need, brothers and sisters, for the people of God to cry out. And as much as all some of us come into God's house, looking sanctimonious, holy and cute because we go down at the Chinaman store and buy up them good up, good up clothes and nice cologne. And we fix up the outside, but there is, a in, there is an internal cry. Glory to God, your son is in trouble. Your daughter is in trouble. Your husband is in trouble. Your wife is in trouble. Your oh good God Almighty, your children is in trouble. Somebody open up your mouth and somebody make a cry. There must be a weeping cry, a wailing cry. There must be a cry out of your belly. Amen. Not for you, some of you that come only for a special prayer and for a lean of hands. I come to tell you today, if you got to open up your mouth. And when you open up your mouth, you must see result. Somebody praise in the Lord. Do I got somebody that know how to weep? You know what we have done? We have taken out the weeping from out of the church. And all we have is people with requests. We want the request to put aside and get some weeping mothers. And that is to start crying. Do I have any weeping mothers in the house? Somebody open up your mouth and help me cry cry to the Lord. Come on somebody. Somebody cry like you know him. Somebody call God if you know him. Come on somebody hold your belly. Ball out to the Lord. Ball out to Jehovah God. Hold your belly. Hold your tummy. Come on somebody and cry out. Come on somebody I know you need a miracle but guess what? The miracle is going to come when the weeping start. Come on somebody 
body because God is touched. Come on with the feelings of our infirmities. And when we cry to the Lord, it's, an, it's a language that God understands. Somebody open your mouth. Somebody open your spirit and somebody cry to the Lord, good God Almighty. I'm feeling a cry. I'm feeling something developing. I'm feeling my God. Somebody, God Almighty, when you start cry out, God will go pull the lock. God will go pull the weapon that I've been holding you down. When you start to cry out, God will go release your family. When you start cry out, God will go release your breakthrough. When you start cry out, God will go help you to reach to the place that you need to be. Come on, somebody open up a mouth. Somebody cry, cry, cry. Good God Almighty. Come on, musician, everybody, let us work this thing. Because I feel a hurly deliverance coming in for somebody this morning. Somebody get up out for your door. Oh, Lord God Almighty, stand up on your feet and cry out like you want some. Lord, somebody I look for me like in their theater. Come on, somebody, am I talking to you here? Somebody lift up your voice and cry out. You want your deliverance, and you want it, and you need your breakthrough, and you need the healing, and you want God to show up in your life. Cry out to God. Lord God Almighty, I wish I got some people that know how to cry. Lord God, I guess you're waiting on the prophet to come and lay a hand by your prayer special for you. You better open up your mouth. You know the house of God. David said, I will enter into his gates with thanksgiving and in his court with praise. I'll be thankful unto him. I will bless his name. Come on, somebody cry out. Lord, some of you, you don't know if you worship. Some of you don't know if you worship. Worship looks strange. Lord God, but if you don't know how, let me tell you what you do. You open your mouth. You lift up your hand. And you ball out. Like when you cuss your neighbor. Come on, somebody help me here. Lord God, Lord God, Lord God. Somebody shout. Somebody shout hallelujah. My God, somebody shout hallelujah. Yes, somebody cry out. I don't know what you're going through, but cry out. I don't know what you need need of, but cry out. I know you need a help. I know you need God's intervention. I know you need God to show up in your life. Somebody cry out. Somebody open up your mouth. Good God. Get aggressive. I need some aggressive warrior. Some people that is not afraid. You're not watch nobody. Come on, there's somebody here. Uh, you need God to show up uh, everything where you try seems to be falling apart uh, everything you do seems to be falling back at you but cry out uh, come on uh, somebody here come on somebody cry out uh, somebody cry out uh, somebody cry out uh, somebody lift your voice my God my God somebody lift your voice uh, somebody cry 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 let the grace of God be upon you come on somebody Lord somebody is getting near somebody is getting near all you need is the cry come on the man let the voice let the voice let the inhabitants let the people that know their God open up their mouth come on David said I will bless the Lord at all time his praises shall perpetually be in my mouth I will say of the Lord is my refuge I will say of the Lord is my strength is my very present help in time of trouble somebody cry cry Lord we are the intercessors we are the intercessors we are the Holy Ghost Rottweiler and when the Holy Ghost speak to them the Lord I need somebody to come up with me Lord God we're going in we're going in for the kill we're going into the enemy territory we are mash up every device we are mash up principalities we are mash up powers we're releasing God's people Lord God Almighty 
we command in the name of Jesus every demon will sit down upon your people and we get up under the authority and the Holy Ghost somebody praise him Lord God Lord God my God my Father somebody show glory somebody show glory somebody show glory somebody show glory somebody cry yes 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 somebody cry out to the Lord come on I cried to the Lord and the Lord heard him and he delivered come on somebody you know how to cry Lord God we need some people Lord God we back out back out in the Holy Ghost come on somebody here because somebody is in trouble the enemy is in trouble Lord the devil is in trouble somebody praise the name of the Lord if somebody cry out you get a miracle this minute if you somebody cry out you get a breakthrough this hour if somebody cry out you get a healing this minute somebody shout come on cry cry you gotta learn how to cry you gotta learn how to cry you gotta learn how to cry come on somebody when you have a child and the child need attention the child cry come on somebody cry to the Lord he's ready to hear you cry to the Lord he's ready to deliver you cry to the Lord is ready to turn your life and story around somebody cry out my god my god hear me brothers and sisters your cry cannot be normal your cry, your cry cannot be cute Lord, me see some people are cry, but there are some cute cry. Lord, some dainty cry. Lord God Almighty, some nice cry. Like your cry selling a market. Come on, somebody. Like somebody appear and cry. Come on, somebody who open your mouth and cry to the Lord. Yes, yes. When you cry to the Lord, He will hear you. Somebody call Him, call Him, call Him, call Him. Somebody call him, the man call him. Somebody call him. Somebody call him. Somebody call him. Somebody call him if you know him. Somebody call him. Yes, call him. Call him if you know him. Call him if you need him. Call him. Hallelujah. David said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Serve him with gladness. Come before him, his presence with singing. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. When your prayers reach the Lord, Something must happen. <laughs> oh God. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endureth to all generations. Here is the big question. Where is your cry? The time you spend complaining, where is your cry? The time you spend murmuring, where is your cry? The time you spend to wait for a special prayer. I got to lick something here today. Lord God, a special prayer. Where is your cry? The time you're waiting, glory to God and the man or the woman of God to identify you and find your problem. Where is your cry? Guess what today? If you don't have no cry, you don't have no chance. Lord God Almighty, if you don't have no cry, you don't have a miracle. 
because God is ready to hear the cry of his people somebody cry to the Lord Because the cry of the Lord is what going to bring deliverance. Thank you on the music. Don't touch another card. Where is your cry? 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 Where is your weeping? Where is your wailing? Where is your sound? You want to hear a sound. God want to hear a sound. A sound from his people. God want to hear a sound from those who need him. God need to hear a sound from those who have a connection with him. And even though things might not be going the way you planned it, you can still have a sound. You can have a cry. 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 Why? Because it is your cry. Open your mouth and God will release unto you the divine will of God. So, brothers and sisters, watch me. Because David is telling us to acknowledge God as Lord and King. And he said that in order for us to do that, we must sing praise and give him worship and appreciate that he is our creator and he is in authority over everything and that we should follow his guidance and express his unfailing love towards us. Lift your hand. And with your hands lifted, under your mark, I want you to call him, if you know him. Everybody that knows him, call him. It will get better. Call him. Yes, it's going to get better. Call him. Those who know him, those who have a relationship with him. The Bible said, they that know God shall do great exploit. And they will be strong. Come on, if you know him, call him. You know why we have to call him? He is the one that created us. And we did not create ourselves because there is too many people are living as if they are the creator. But watch this. Glory to God. While I was coming here this morning, somebody called. Amen. Glory to God. And said, pray for me. I said, don't worry yourself. We will pray. But you also need to open your mouth and cry to the Lord. Because there are times God don't want to hear the speaker. He want to hear from you. Glory to God. Where is that sound? Our country is dying. Lord, police are dying. Lord, men are dying. Are dying, people are dying daily. There is a virus in the country, Lord. There is a virus of crime, and yet the people are sleeping. God, I need somebody to cry, I need some weeping mothers, I need some wailing fathers, I need some people to cry. 
Oh, glory to God. When you cry, when you cry unto the Lord, then you will hear an answer coming from the Lord. This is my point that I'm really getting ready to express to you. Which is coming from Psalms 100 and verse 4. This is where everybody, we just lift it up and I release this microphone. But watch this. It says that we ought to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. God alone is worthy to be praised and worshipped. What is your attitude towards worship? Amen, somebody. What is your attitude towards praise? Do you willingly and joyfully come into God's presence? Or are you just going through the motion? Glory to God. Reluctantly going to church. As recent disagreement left you, glory to God, you begin to walk away. And some person only know church when they are in problem. Some folks only know church when they need a healing. When they need a deliverance. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's too early for you to go quiet on me. Because the prophet don't come yet. Some people, bishop, only know church when they want God to give them a miracle. I was upstairs early on. And it is sad to say, I was upstairs and somebody called the phone. Uh, Mark Strat. I want you to pray for me. I said, excuse me. I said, good morning. I said, when you're acknowledging the servant of the Lord, Brother Stuart, Mr. Stuart, Pastor Stuart, Reverend Stuart, Prophet Stuart, what put some on it? And you know the next thing when she said that what I did, I put the phone down. And she called again. Now, Brother Stuart, I said, good, good morning. I want you to pray for me. You're coming to my house or we must come. I said, oh, what's wrong with this girl? I said, you don't know church. Come on, somebody. I said, some people, they don't know church. They only know. They, they just waited. Oh, I need the, a contact with the man of God. I want him to pray for you. I want him to work a miracle for me. I want, come on, somebody. The, you, God must be more than that to you. Come on, somebody. You, you, you got to have something deep down. Come on. I know me, I mash up something up in here. Glory to God. But you have to understand. Glory to God. They say, we're going to cry out. We have to get it right. Glory to God. You have to take your mind from half the prophet, the apostle, the preachers. Glory with the God and put your mind on God. So when you walk through the house, the first thing upon your lip, he said, Lord, I will bless you at all time. Come on. The second thing upon your lip, hallelujah. The third thing upon your lip, thank you. Jesus, am I talking to somebody here? Because you're having a praise deep down on the inside. So David was saying, a lot of people only going in the motion because the preacher said, hallelujah. You say, hallelujah. Because the preacher says, praise the Lord. They say, praise the Lord. But where is your worship? And so, brothers and sisters, in order for you to get miracle, and a lot of persons, glory to God, they come and they never get a miracle, and they bad mind those who get, and they grudge those who have, because those who receive were those who were genuinely, when they come, glory to God, they have an expectancy, and they know the value of how to receive a miracle, and the value in receiving a miracle is to give. Come on now, somebody. You give glory, you give your worship, you give your praise. No, glory. I feel this now. I feel this now. Glory to God. So if you still love me, you can praise God. And if you're upset, you can still praise God. Everybody right now, just lift your hands and open your mouth if you know him. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. And somebody shout hallelujah now. 
Oh yes, it's getting better. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yes, come on with the instrument. Everybody, they that have breath, we praise him upon the strings. We praise him upon the timbrin. We praise him with the harp. We praise him with our voice. We worship him because we know that he's worthy. Somebody lift your voice. Open your mouth. And somebody will praise him. Somebody love him. Oh my God, oh my God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh yes, oh yes. Somebody get oh God. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Hello there. I'm the Reverend Prophet Mark Stewart. That you've been watching, enjoying, and being blessed every time a new message comes up on your YouTube. I know many of you are locked waiting for the next broadcast, for the next release for the next YouTube preaching. Oh, everywhere I go, all across the world, many people, we see the numbers rising and we know many of you are blessed by our sermons on YouTube. Here is what I want you to do in the midst of this pandemic. Do you know that so many of you are blessed, but yet we struggle as a ministry to cope, to pay our bills, to make things happen in this pandemic. I want you to talk with us. I want you to come on board with me. All of you, my partners, who are watching and are being blessed on YouTube. In this season, by now to December, I want every single one of you that have been blessed by our messages to plant a seed. I want you, if you don't have a ministry that you tithe into, to tithe into this breakthrough ministry and support this prophetic work that is always coming at you in your bedroom. Some of you sleep on it. Some of you watch at your workplace every single day. Listen, I want you to plant a seed. It's coming up on your screen. All the mediums that you can use. Click on one of them and use the opportunity to plant a seed in our ministry for our mission and for our ministry to continue. So that in this time of great disaster, we can keep coming at you with great and powerful messages. Come on board with me. Help me to stay on YouTube, stay on television, stay on radio, and continue to do mission to the poor and the needy. Plant a seed in our ministry today and watch your life be blessed. Go ahead right now, take that credit or debit card out, click on one of the apps and use it plant a seed in the breakthrough deliverance ministries that is coming at you in Jesus name and of course I pronounce and declare a mighty move of God and a blessing on your life like never before right now in Jesus name go ahead and so as God bless you